What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another traditional draft Ravnica Allegiance here on Magic the Gather Gather Gathering Magic the Gathering Online. It's MTG Arena. We know what we're doing here. I will confirm this online purchase. Ooh, Electro Dominance seems mm, pretty busted. It tastes like minerals. Mm, minerals. I'm gonna take this Electro Dominance. Biomancer's Familiario. Activated abilities of creatures to control cost two less to activate. That's great for the uh, the adapt deck. The next time a creature adapts its turn, it adapts as though it had no one one counters on it. Seems very good. We can also take this Gatebreaker Ram, and, and Gruel is uh, pretty good for us here if we do that. I think we're just taking that. Magic the Cattering. <laughs> That's a thing. I think we're just taking the gate, the gate, the gate ram. Dovin's a cute. Look at these. Look at these very colorful Azorius cards. I can't think of anything. Like, okay, so these two cards look very, very similar, right? They they have a real similar color scheme and feel. Same thing with these cards. That's interesting. Hmm. No one else is gonna ever notice that. I am gonna take. I don't know what to take here. Blade Juggler is. That's yeah, probably okay. I mean, it's literally just a. What's it called? Um, Phyrexian Rager? Sometimes. However, we have these two guys. I guess we could try to be Rakdos as well. We don't have to commit to the gate guy, but... See, here's the thing. If we're going to play this guy, we're probably going to be playing some gates anyway, so we might as well... Uh, you know. Play another color. We could be Teamer. Hmm... I don't know. I don't know what the pick is here. I think I'm between Wrecking Beast to stay on color, Blade Juggler because it's just fine, or just take the Guild Gate. I think it's probably just Guild Gate. It's one of it's one of our two colors. Arcane Arc Arcway Angel seems pretty good, although we can't be Naya really. So we're gonna have to be green. We can could be Abazan, Celestia, and uh, we have Orzov and no, because Golgari and Celestia are in the other set. Oh, that's that's rough. I kind of want to just splash this because we'll gain a million life. We could probably just splash it, right? I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Oh, Frilled Mystic. Why you do this? Hmm. This guy's pretty... It's, it's pretty decent. It's expensive, but it's pretty decent. Open the gates is nice. I bet we can get another open the gates if we want one. Gross Spiral is pretty good. I bet we just want gates here, though. So we could be Mardu splash this green, right? I don't know. We're probably going to avoid blue. The arena... Oh, that's... Oh, that's weird, because I have magic online, not the other one. Okay, so we're doing... Boop, there we go. Appreciate that. I went to the wrong thing. So now, now we are correct, I believe. And this pack's pretty boring. I'll be getting my Aaron deck box next month. I do believe I can. That sounds awesome, dude. Congrats. It's going to be sweet. I, I really enjoy mine. It's a very nice piece. Take the brush strider. I still don't think we're just. Oh, all right, here we go. Wow, another night of the last breath. I don't think we want two of these seven drops. I will take a gateway plaza though. Uh, oh, another arcway angel. Wow. All right, we're gonna play the double arcway angel. We're just we're just gates of plenty now. Uh, consign of the pit seems decent, but we have multiple arcway angels already. Don't care. 
Another consigned to the pit. I'm gonna take Sentinel's Mark on a Gatebreaker Ram. It's actually could be pretty insane. So I think I feel like I've seen more Rakdos Guild Gates than any other land here. Also, Azorius Guild Gate is not the one we want because we're not really trying to be uh, blue. So I'd rather take the four drop, I guess. Which I don't, I don't actually like. I don't think the four drop is great. Oh, Hero of Pre-Saint 1? Hmm. You're not bad, but I don't know if you're great in our deck. We only have like two gold cards so far. Any Storm standard decks? I mean, I don't play a ton of standards, so... Not for me, good sir. Not for me. Trollbred Guardians also very good. I think it's one of these two. What's our... What are, I mean, like... It's hard to see what direction the deck is going. I want to take the cheaper card. I think it's probably better for our deck. Oh, a breeding pool. Well, that's unfortunate. It's not a gate. Nor is it the color we want. Law Mage's Binding is super nice. Probably just going for the third Rakdos Guild Gate? No, Orzov. We're looking for Orzov Guild Gates and Gruul Guild Gates as well. Which we have seen none of. I do like a hack robot, Hackrobat. I always want to call this Hacker Robot. And that is not what that is, so. Yep, another Azorius Guildgate. Well, this is, this is awkward. I can see taking Imperious Oligarch or Final Payment. I don't think we need to find I'd rather just have a cheaper early card. Another Gateway Plaza and a Gruel Guild Gate. Alright, now we're talking. Now they're now they're coming together. Sphinx of the Guild Pack, does that have any kind of synergy with our deck? Or I don't think so. I think we just want the oligarch again. I don't want to be too heavy white. I'm pretty sure we're Orzov splashing gruel. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know. Probably not. Could take a Rakdos locket, but I feel like our Rakdos is pretty much already... Uh... I don't want the double white card. I don't think we have any reason to play double white anything. Boar could be fine, but we already have two white. I'm going to just go with the, the white card here. Two, the two cards I want in this pack are unfortunately blue. Let's take Exposed for the sideboard. I feel like that card's very relevant in this format. Orzov Guildgate, super nice pickup. Same thing here. Uh, I don't want the six drop. I just don't think we want more super expensive creatures. I think we just want the Bama Spider. Spider's a very good dude. Um, Final Payment's nice. It's nice to have a removal spell. We only have, like, consigned to the pit right now, so... We also have a lot of creatures that we don't mind sacrificing, like Orzov Enforcer and Double Oligarch. Open the gate. Super nice. I'll actually take on their Expose. Simic Locket. Oh, there you go. I literally just made one of these last night. I wish I did not now. Yep, this is a pretty easy pick. <laughs> um, pretty strong and limited. Uh, Savage Smash, also not bad. Giving a guy plus two, plus two, and then fighting is pretty good. I don't really care about Rakdos Guildgate. 
This card's good, but sometimes it's not great. I think it's actually just Savage Smash here. Sky Tether is a decent removal. So is Flames of the Razor, but we already have Double Angel and Consign at six. And we have a seven drop. So. Hmm. Skewer the Critics is probably the pick here. I wish we could play Blue Guild Gates, but I just they're not where we want to be. So I'm just going to take the Skewer. Uh, so we could have a second Frilled Mystic. God, that makes me so sad. Summary Judgment? How much removal do we have now? We have Final Payment. Uh, we have Skewer the Critics. We have Savage Smash. Consigned to the Pit. It's only like four removal. This is 27 cards, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Guild Gates, so we need 3 playables. I bet we can take the Summary Judgment here and feel okay about it. Orzhov Guild Gate is super nice. Clear the stage, 5 mana, target creature gets neg 3, neg 3, if you control creatures for your turn one. This actually seems pretty great here. Yeah, clear the stage seems nuts, actually. If we have Ram or Knight or Seraph out, we get to also get a guy back. I hope we can get one more Orzhov Guildgate, but I'm not going to hold my hold my fingers crossed. What the hell does that mean? Uh, probably just bring the trial here. Racketeer is actually pretty good. 3-2 for 5 is not the best, but um, whenever it deals combat damage to discard a card and Afterlife 2, I'm okay with it. There's the guild gate we wanted, so that's pretty gas. Our deck is looking pretty sweet right now, if I do say so myself. I do like having Collision Colossus. I'm not sure if we're going to play it main, because it's got some pretty restrictive mana costs. We could also take uh, Vampire and play it over the Rouse throughout. Hmm... Alright, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 guild gates, which puts us at 24. Okay, that's pretty good. Huh. Actually, I'm just going to play this guy. I think it's probably better. Oh, another Rakdos guild gate. We just keep getting the Rakdos guild gates. I almost like carrying it better than Axbane Beast. Sure. Actually, I think Final Payment's a little better here. I'm not going to play two. Probably not playing the Roust about. It's a little too, uh, too weird on the mana. Orzhov Guildgate, last pick. I think that's four of those that we have now. That's pretty nice. And this is our reward from drafting a Seraph when we already have four. I wish they just gave you a Mythic Wild card instead, but I think that'd be a little... Maybe that's too good? I don't know. 43 cards. All right, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so we have how many white sources? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 white sources. Okay. Black sources we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 one of those we have one two three four five six seven red blue red sources and green we have one two three four hmm. Hmm. i definitely want another green source probably cutting one red source yeah we definitely don't have that many red We did get an open the gates, which is nice. Uh, three cuts, three cuts. How many creatures do we have? 16. All right, not bad. We can probably cut like two creatures here. Probably cut Axbane. Super Fritz, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'm just going to play 41 with uh, Open the Gates here. 
I probably got the 10th district veteran. Oh, Violing of the Five Month Resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. I think we're good. Let's put uh, let's put this up here. Oh, it's already there. Nice. It was our first pick. So, also, if we ever get mana weird, if our if our mana is bad and we have double red to electro dominance, we can just play whatever we cast it for on that. I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems great. A little expensive, but I think we're all right. All right, a seven drop is probably not what we wanted to do there. Guess we're passing here. I'm watching YouTube for some catching live. Any recommendations on how to become a successful streamer other than not sucking at said game? None. No recommendations whatsoever, unfortunately. Yep. That's pretty good. Six drop. So we've, so we've drawn six drop, a blank card, seven drop. Seems good. I'm a fan. Badger, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Now we are up to an even 400. Nice. Like you do. Because <laughs> you know why. I always have to go check and be like, all right, let's see what uh, let's see what we're up to now. Because I'm sure there's a reason for it. Yeah, if you want to be a successful streamer, don't get mana screwed whenever in every other game you play. Wow, they gained life, huh? Mm, seems good. Captain Reynolds, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Always a reason, yes. There is always a reason. What are the odds they don't have an answer for my 3-1? Okay. We're actually playing 17 lands and an open the gates. So kind of like 18 lands. Sure. I'm having a good time. Well, I bet you don't have a second one, though. So you just go shoot, shoot, and then they... Yeah, all right, sure. So we're at three. I will block the dude I can... Uh, I can block. Go to three. Sure. Even if we draw something like we... Yep, that's not going to do it. We'd have to, like, draw untapped land guy. We block here. We still take three. And we take two more from here. Like, there's literally nothing we can do here. We have double Arcway Angel in hands and we're dying because we can't hit land drops. Good times. Good times. But it was not good times. It was bad times. Like the, there was no issue... Um, with our colors of mana, it was literally just, oh, hey, you don't get to play your spells this game. I mean, to be fair, we drew, like, literally every top-end card we had in the deck, so. I can't generally watch live, but you're a solid half of my YouTube time at the moment, so I thought, yeah, really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, Sure.
Okay, well. Here we go. A green land would be great. I'll even take a guild gate. I won't. I, I mean, I will, but I won't like it. South Korea? That sounds like gas. Forest. Basic forest. Gonna wait till the next round. Yep, I have not hit more than three lands in any game. Oh, military order so less gassy. Nice. I mean, South Korea is a pretty cool place to be. If you had to be somewhere. Not terrible. No blocks. Still don't have a land to play. This is amazing. So this would be a three, a four, three. So I could literally just one for one us here. This feels terrible, but gets vigilance. Whatever. Sack a goblin puts us to five. Sack another goblin. This guy deals with three. If they have any removal spell, we're dead. I will skewer the critics you and kill you on the spot. They didn't. Five cards? What are their cards? Hmm. So they sack one, it would deal us two, they sack this, it's unblockable. So I think we're just dead here. That's pretty sad. We could kill this guy, but then they have two creatures and we have one guy. So, like, we're basically just dead. Ah. <sighs> I think there's I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the deck if we can draw more than three lands a game. All of our spells in hand are good. Uh, 
Uh, I don't like this hand, but see, like this is what happens. Magic, magic, digital versions of Magic give you Stockholm syndrome, where you're like, I don't like this hand, but boy, I do have lands. My God, I, I'm so spoiled here that I just want to keep the hand because it has all these lands. So I kept it. That's kind of sad. Well, now we have every color in the deck, which is really pretty much okay. Don't play a Zerta Goblin. Okay, I don't care about that either. Yeah, I think the knight is fine. Someone played it against me once, and it didn't actually do that much work. Um, never gonna survive. I'll give my guy plus three, plus three, and block. Oh, we just gained some life here. That's nice. God, I'm so spoiled. I'm like, I, all, I had, all I got to do was play a land this turn, and it felt great. Okay, 0-2 and 0-3. Feeling all right about this. Do you have a day in mind for my deck of or something here? Um, what, what day? What day works for you, man? Oh, that's interesting. Did you respond to me? What did you say? Well, let me see what you said. You said Friday's the best. You said Friday's the best, but any day would actually work. So, <laughs> you said both are Oh, okay, both are fine as in both answers are fine. Yeah, let me know. Uh, uh, any day next week? All right, let's do it on Tuesday. You want to do it Tuesday? Sure. Well, don't forget, he also has Afterlife 3, which is a lot. Like, when this guy dies, you get three 1-1s. One That's pretty good. Well, I start at 2 p.m. Eastern, so that would probably it'd be, it's usually the first thing I do on when I when I start streaming on weekdays. Three cards. They had one, two, three, four, five. They had six mana last turn. They didn't use it. Do I care about this 2 2 when I'm at 25 and we're just going to play Knight next turn? I don't think so. I mean, I do want to do something, but I don't think it's worth. Like, we'd also Electro Dominant something and then bring a trial it as well.
<laughs> yeah, see, this is a deal I'll kill with Electro Dominance. Alright, we're doing it. It's three, right? Then we can play Bring the Trial for free. Yeah, I think the set has been fine so far. I've actually enjoyed it so far. Seven seven on deck. Seems good. A little too late for that, I think. Knight on curve. Just drop this guy on seven. NBD. Oh, it's your boy. It's your goat boy. Alright, so we can... Uh, this guy doesn't have Vigilance, but I think that's fine. <laughs> Horthrax, thank you for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. So they only have four power on board, so this guy should be safe to just... They should still both be safe to just ram right in there. Ram right in there, as it were. Thank you. BSP, thank you for some resub. You demand. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are great. Oof. All right, so our opponent may not be as well versed in the drafting uh, as we are. They're playing Root Snare and Rubble Reading. I think we're done here. You guys hear that? They're coming for you. I was going to go for a walk last night, and it was 50 degrees, and I didn't know if I should. I was like, is this too cold to go for a walk? Is 50 degrees too cold to go for a walk? I wouldn't be wearing, like, long pants. We're not talking about just go walk and eat. We're talking about like, I'm probably just go walk for like an hour. Is that too cold? 
I don't have like long pants. I don't have like winter clothing. It's a thing. I would have like gym shorts and a hoodie on. And I don't know if that's walking appropriate when it's fifty. I have I have no idea. Come free after that beating you gave you. Yeah, well at least he drew lands. Pretty sure we can just submit here. I don't think we're at too large of a risk here. Oh, one land? Hmm. And a seven drop again? Hmm. All right, this hand seems great. I am, I am a little bit crazy, yeah. I go, sometimes we do the 41 card shuffle. Uh, I want to put you at the bottom because we don't have a second red source, even though we can get a second red source. Turn 3, 4-4 four, four is good. I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, a nice dude. Huh. I think I'm fine trading with either of these guys. Let's get a this guy. Oh, let's not play a pre-combat though. I don't want to deal extra damage here. So they would be at nine here. Let's see if that ever makes a difference. I don't think it will, but you never know. Are they active treason, my dude? Hmm. Well, that's not as good. So here's the thing, if we actually dealt that one extra point, they'd be at two, and we could have Savage Smashed and then just killed them. But I don't think it matters. I'm going to assume you don't have a red or green card that makes a difference here. 
You could have plus three, plus three, which prevents us from winning, and I kind of just want to win here. That'll do. That'll do as well. We did it. I'm gonna wait for my tax return and it hasn't been done yet. See, oh, that would be great. I would love to deck critique a gate deck with that ram in there. I would also like to use some eye drops, which I'm gonna do right now. Eye drop stream. Nailed it. Six drop, six drop, green card. They go first. I can keep this hand. Two lands is fine. You have two colors out of four. <laughs> Gruel Guild Gate off the top. Or Gateway Plaza. Or Rakdos Guild Gate. All these are fine. Or just a green source. Five drop. That's similar. I use the whole bottle for one. <laughs> what does that even mean? That doesn't seem ideal, my friend. Alright, we need a green source, and then I'm followed by a red source. That'd be nice. This is a 5-2, and we drew uh, the same color that we already have multiples of? Okay. Well, I'm not in the business of thinking 5 every turn when I can just kill it, so that's where we are. That's where we're at right now. Okay. Okay. actually not a terrible draw still need a green source I guess we're getting rid of the Savage Smash and probably consigned to the pit. I mean, this we can cast with one mana. This I really want to have a creature, and this was just a green dude. We have nothing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. That seems like a decent deal. Oh, magic. Magic, magic, magic. We're having a good time. If I could draw forest into... I'll take two regular lands, even though it's not great for this. I only get four. I only gain four life. Come on. Opponent isn't doing a ton of things. I'm just going to block all your things if you let me. This is actually just fine. Also, if you guys are looking for a little wardrobe pick-me-up, like the chat mentions, feel free to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. I'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. It's a great deal. The clothing is actually super, super comfortable, so... I'm sure people in the chat, if they have purchased it, can attest. But, uh... Alright, well... We gotta take two more, but we do have some things next turn. That was perfect. If we draw another green source, we can actually play two things, which is pretty exciting. An untapped green source, anyway. I think that might have been what we needed. Especially because Ram gets us back like this, which is great. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't kill my ram. Oh god, are they gonna play get the idea? Is that what it's called? No, I don't think it's get the get the I don't know what it's called. You know it's the five mana removal spell. They don't have any black sources now. Are they just mono red? No, because they had a black card. They had two black cards. Yeah, well they had a they had a signal at the time. And it's get the point, not get to the point. But uh, you know, I don't want to nitpick here. Pass. So what we can do is play Brush Strider and play Sentinel's Mark, which gives us six, seven, eight life. Let's do that. Yeah, that's an ETB effect. I'm on the throne. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now we have more life, and I'm feeling okay about this match. Wow, I have no idea what happened in this game. I don't think we want to board anything in. We have all of our life gain on the deck. The Game of Thrones?
I'm not going to clog the drain. I'm going to break the drain. Wow. Wow. Judith Aristocrat deck can make it. In yeah, probably. I mean, like, do I think it could be a tier one deck? I don't know. I have no idea. Do I think it's playable and uh, can compete and win matches? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, which I think are very different things. But I think they're both valuable, right? Like... Oh, uh, yeah, we can keep this. Turn three, this guy. Sentinel's Mark is not as good because it only makes it a 4-3, which is still pretty susceptible to most things. They went to six. I'm okay with it. That's nice. Now the question is, do you want to play this on two or this on three? This on two, plus a Sentinel's Mark making a 3-3 three, three is not terrible. Well, now we're just going to do that because now we can play this. Then play this and play Guildgate, which is nice. that too. Alright. Take these out, they're actually like I feel like I'm biting my tongue. can actually play Enforcer and also play Sentinel's Mark on something. And if they want to double block here, it's fine. They take three, they go 13, we get to play another guy out. They did not want to do that. Okay. Well. Interesting. with these two we can leave this guy back for now i don't i don't like the uh prospect of all right well, i'm just gonna take that too this is all very fascinating i have no idea what's going on now they don't want to block but they don't want to attack it's a real it's the eternal struggle here We're at two wins now, so I feel like we're okay. Although the decks we beat were not 
uh, I wouldn't say they're the pinnacle of Ravnica Allegiance draft here. You know what? I don't love this hand, but it has all of our colors, which is important. We're also on the draw, and we have one of the strongest cards in our deck. Okay. Sure, you got it. Why didn't you play the Gateway Plaza first turn? It comes into play tapped, dummy. Would have loved to have topped like a gate there, of the like eight we have in our deck, but... See, now it's awkward because if we hit a gate, we can't play this guy. If we don't hit a gate, it's only a 3-3. Three, three. And we just don't hit any land whatsoever. That's cool. I'm a big fan of that. JK, I'm not. <laughs> so, to be fair, every game we've lost so far was from not being able to hit land drops and resolve our spells. I just want to be clear. There has been no strategical... Uh, Strategical mistakes on our part, except maybe putting too many gates in our deck, I guess. But, you know, for the most part, we didn't draw them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is not a keepable hand. I'll keep it. It gets too real. Man, I have opened gate. I haven't opened the gate. Open the gates. I went to Costco today again. It was apocalyptic. What was apocalyptic about the Costco? I'm curious. Black Lotus is there for $100? That's a good deal, man. Oh, look, another no land. And turn. Oh, little sheepy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You go to three, and then literally you have all every creature on board is lethal. Sure. Oh, boy, we're having a good time. I, there's no, again, there's no real cards I want to bring in here. <laughs> of the, like, seven sideboard cards. It probably was an absolute crush of humanity. However, I bet you still got the 18 pounds of macaroni and cheese in the tub. Don't we all? You know what? Sure. I felt like a Blade Room co Consumer Processing Center. This guy's in our opening hand every game, and there is one of them in our deck. That seems reasonable. It's my green card with no green. They're going to quench this guy because it's like our first play of the game. So they didn't. And I feel, I feel grateful. Huh. That feels better suited on defense. Can I attack you and then you block and kill it? That's the one one. Actually, let's just do this. Do I just gain another five and risk it? Or do I just... I mean, they're going to trade with this guy at any point anyway. We might as well get the five life out of it, I think. It's a weird use of Fairy Duelist, I think. One, two, three, four, five. We could have actually got a basic land because we actually have enough of these. I did want a second green source though. I don't know why. If we have nine mana, we can electro dominance. That's pretty cool. 
Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, they didn't plus that guy. That's fascinating. Sure. Doesn't do anything. Okay, so next turn we're going to play Knight of the Last Breath, I believe. And then we're going to be able to go Electro Dominance for five, play clear of the stage, kill the other one. That's fine. And we're at 21. I'm not super concerned with it. Quench you? Yes, I have a quench in my hand, you see. Yeah, of course. Guess we'll go to 16 here. They have two cards. Alright. I think we can deal with that. I don't control one, so... That was sad. Sure. Can we draw one of our good cards? Like, our angel would be insane. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We'd gain 12 life. We have two angels, we'd gain 12 life. We also have Seraph in our deck. What are that, three outs? Like, we only have four turns to this guy, so... Technically, three draw steps, right? We go to eight, draw a card. Go to five, draw a card. Go to two, draw a card. As long as you don't have another... Uh... They didn't. This resolved and gained us literal million life. That's gas. Wow, that... Well, that turned the game around, didn't it? <laughs> oh, that's sad. Wow, they didn't block that? I could have sworn they would have blocked because if they double... Well, I guess we get to kill both then. Yeah, alright. So, back at 21. Our deck is great. Okay, so we know all the cards in their hand. Is it worth them blocking here? I don't think so. They can't attack with their flyers anymore, which is great.
What up, Chris? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. There are six lands in our 16 card deck. No, there are two more lands in the graveyard, too. There are four lands. 25% of our deck is lands. So. I don't really feel like. I, well, I guess we could probably get out attacked there, get rid of one of their. Yeah, this is actually fine. I mean, if we're trading this guy for either one of their flyers, it's pretty much okay. Well, we didn't trade it for anything. That's pretty good. Do you crack it immediately? Yes. yes we do. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Four lands in the deck. No, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? Yeah, so three lands in the deck? Wow. Yikes. And freaked out for a second because I thought these pants were so on the top. I thought she had gotten a rad Oh, that'd be insane, dude. Yep. Definitely killing this guy first. Hoping you know the trick. Another one? Come on. Insta mutate there. All right. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy, huh? Lucky, lucky, lucky. Hey, you're the best card in the deck. What did you draw? Oh, a one out of two counter spells. Sounds good. Sounds good. How many arrow? This is five arrow. One, two, three. This is your fifth aromunculus. Wow, that's completely reasonable. It's okay. We're good. <laughs> Gain like what? Fourteen life? No, oh, sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> They're also at 11 cards when we're at 12, so it is possible that they deck themselves. These guys are really hard to deal with for us, actually. We have no real... Uh... Okay, all these cards are just... Does that do anything here? I don't know. Not really. Do we have our fight card still? <laughs> our fight card. Nope, it's in the graveyard. It's a yikes for me, dog. Come on. Well, now we're just gonna have to kill a flyer because you don't know, feel like. Wow, that's aggressive. We're at 26? Good lord. Drunk stream. By that I mean I'll be getting drunk. Well, somebody's got to do it. You're really fighting the good fight for us, buddy. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just give me my three tokens. Oh, that's that'll do. That's the card we need. The old ten ten. I 
don't see attack. Oh, alright, there we go. They just can't deal with 10-10, I guess. That'll do. They have a lot of, a lot of Aeromunculuses. We have nothing to deal with that, though. This doesn't do it. Nope. I wish this guy had reach. That'd be, that'd be nice. Be decent, I guess. I'm tempted to just bring in drill bit. Nama spiders good. Double arcway angels are good. Okay, so we don't actually we're not actually that bad shape in, in that bad of shape. Take out the bring the trial. That was a pretty bad one. I guess we'll bring in final payment. We have a bunch of uh, creatures we don't mind sacrificing, so being able to just get them with the... Uh... You know what I'm saying. Yep, the old one land gateway plaza. This is better. Seven drops still in our opening hand, as, as it always is. Yep, an island. A good old-fashioned island. I want to play this in case we draw the white guy. It's negative seven degrees here, so might as well get drunk and watch Frank Alexa. Oh god, I almost read that whole thing. Wow, that was really good. I am really proud of you for that one. You degenerate. So we're just gonna go swamp into this this bad Larry. <sighs> Aeromunculus, I'm so annoyed with you. Why are you this way? I mean, if they're attack, we're going to be blocking this way anyway, so might as well just get the attack out of there. Oh, that's actually great. Wow, that was a really good draw. Well, we're not going to block because then you pump it and then everybody loses. And by everybody, I mean we lose. How many frilled mystics do they have? We just saw the one, right? I kind of want to play Knight last next turn. But we can't do anything if we do. Is there any way we can play this? We can play this turn and do nothing. They can't actually pump both Aeromunculi's. The problem is we can't consign and then play Knight next turn as well. I don't know if we're in a position. I think we just have to kill one of these guys, unfortunately. No attacks. So now we can, like, if they want to pump this guy, it's whatever. They only have three cards in hand. I feel like we're okay.
The problem is if we give them an extra turn to attack, we're not going to be able to block because then they pump. So we go to 13. And then if they have, like, Frilled Mystic, we're just in such bad shape. So I wanted to make sure we got one of these guys off the board before we attempt to play this. Into, like, a Frilled Mystic. I'm really hoping for an untapped land. Wow, that was great. Oh, man, that was perfect. <laughs> no attacks. All right. Well, now we have a blocker for this guy, and it has Afterlife 3, so... They're just going to play Chillbringer, tap this guy down, attack with everything. It's going to be pretty brutal. Yep, no blocks again. Man, they never want to pump that guy. Why wouldn't you play this first and then attack with this guy too? What a weird thing to do. <sighs> Welp. One, two, three, four, five. We're in a situation where if we draw any of the angels, we'd get like a million mana. Uh, look, proceed. Yes. Hoping for an angel. Send me an angel. Oh, that's actually very good. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. That's actually insanely good. Holy smokes. Three, four. So we're not actually in a position to... I think we just take this. Aeromunculus number three. Yep, and land. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six gates, so we gain 12 life if uh, we draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. So five in our deck. Oh boy. I felt like we were doing very good after the uh, neg three, neg three. I don't know why you're not casting these and just attacking. Why don't you just attack with that guy? Yep, we were just yeah, we were just hoping for a hoping for an angel there. Unfortunately, it was just our twelfth land, guys. It's okay. Twelve lands is actually a pretty good number. Um, we have drawn the twenty three cards left in our deck. So we've drawn seventeen. So what we've drawn five non land cards. One, two, three, four, five. So we've drawn six, six non land cards in our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine? Sure. I mean, <laughs> so what can you do? We're basically dead. We block here. This guy's trample, so we block here. We take three from this. Yeah. What can you do? I mean, I don't know. Like, my, my experience with, with the Shuffler on Arena, Shuffler, 
uh, have not been promising. So I feel like our drafts are either like we 5-1 or we go 0-2 because we can't draw land. So 2-2, two, two, whatever. We'll claim our prize. We'll open our packs. It's all right. That happens. Ooh, a mesmeric, mesmerizing benthid. Like you do. Oh, glass of the guild pact. Oh, a planeswalker! Wow, a, a planeswalker and two planes. A planeswalker and another mythic. That's pretty gassed. I'm a fan of that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending this video. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And uh, MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And boy, are they comfortable. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.